have an even more prosperous state. We've made it very prosperous. And I really think he's going to do just a fantastic job. And if I didn't feel that, I wouldn't be here. Former President Donald Trump makes a stop in Nebraska and backs Charles Herbster in the race for governor. Good evening. I'm Julie Cornell. Trump took the stage this evening at the I-80 Speedway in Glenwood after severe weather canceled Friday's rally. Herbster also addressed the crowd, calling on voters to pick him in the Republican Party. KETV Newswatch 7 Sarah Feely joins us live with their message tonight. Julie, more than a thousand people waited hours, both from Nebraska and from outside the state, to hear former President Donald Trump speak. Trump today renewing his endorsement for Charles Herbster, saying, quote, vote like hell. Charles, come on up. Former President Donald Trump welcomes Nebraska gubernatorial candidate Charles Herbster to the stage with a handshake and a public endorsement. I think Charles is going to do very well. And if he does, you'll be very happy and you're going to have an even more prosperous state. We've made it very prosperous. Trump spent most of his hour and 45 minute speech boasting his own track record as president, also comparing allegations raised against him to the sexual assault allegations against Herbster. Charles is a fine man and he's innocent of these despicable charges. By the way, Charles, welcome to politics. Herbster has maintained his innocence, saying it's nothing more than a political attack. The 45th president also leveled criticism at two Nebraska leaders. Your state is very poorly represented by a grandstanding, little respected senator called Little Ben Sass. He's bad news. Who's an embarrassment to the people of Nebraska. Another one that I think is bad news is your guy Don Bacon. I think he's bad news. And I hope you vote like hell against that guy. He's bad news. In his speech, Charles Herbster says he won't back down. We're going to cut taxes. We're going to quit CRT. We're going to take sex education out of the schools and put it back in the homes. Rally goers say they're voting for Herbster both for his values and his endorsements. I voted for Herbster because President Trump endorsed him. And Greenwood today, President Trump praised Charles Herbster for his love of Nebraska, calling him a good man and a diehard champion for Make America Great Again. The primary is next Tuesday. Herbster is one of nine Republicans vying for the nomination. Julie, back to you. Okay, thanks, Sarah.